bombarder. Places. Good break up. The window. It's very obvious. Bombarder. Places. Expelliarmus. Couldn't bring up. Defender. Bombarder. Glaces. Expelliarmus. Couldn't bring up. Glaces. Expelliarmus. Defender. Couldn't bring up. Expelliarmus. Couldn't bring up. Defender. Bombarda. One less foul hulking brute. Petrificus Totalis. When I set about my arrangements, I don't expect to tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking.
Revelio. You there. Might you be able to Everything assist? Everything all right? If you've got some Wiganweld potion, though. Spiders do tend to appear in ruin. You've saved me life. Oh, I can... Must stay away from ruin. Oh, and thank you. Please accept this token of my appreciation. Could it be? Revelio. Place has seen better days. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Back for more, I see. I 
Revelio. Revelio. I should investigate. Revelio. Excuse me, Madam... Navarro. Bella Navarro. May I help you? What is it you sell, Madam Navarro? Potion ingredients, mostly. There's a tidy bit of profit to be made from the most unassuming things. 
I assume you've studied potions at Hogwarts? Professor Sharp's class, yes. Then you should know enough to appreciate my inventory. What do you have for sale? Let's see how I can assist you, my lovely. Aren't you sweet? I'll be happy to take this off your hands. Thank you for your time, my sweet. Something must be done about the vile thieves who've infested the area. Is everything all right, Madame... Olivier, Madame Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Clagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trait. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvanas Selwyn arrived. Sylvanas Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy, almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. Sylvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no! I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. Whoa. Oh. Uh. Uh. Not sure. Revelio.
These rocks have seen better days. What's that? Who's there? The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. I'm over here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose! That wasn't too difficult. Excellent. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? 
You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. You take care of yourself. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Rebellion. I question the benefit of the future of the fantasy. How's my favourite test flyer? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? 
I aim to make Spintwitches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. <sighs> good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh. I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her.
I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Hazel must be here somewhere. Didn't bring anyone to dark enough to snake up on me. Places! Come on, Hazel. back to a Vivarian now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Imagine how inconvenient travel was you before I invented this blue powder. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by spin witches when you can. Again? Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. What are we looking for today? I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. 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 Venite. Revelio. 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 What did I ever do to deserve this? Hello, <laughs> Hamora. Revelio. 
Incendio! Revelio! Revelio. 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 Lumos. Revelio. Descendo. Lumos. Revelio Lumos
inside the owlery. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. 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 Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion.